Apply grease to the threaded pins and assemble into the master shank. Be sure that all contact surfaces of the multi-bore components are cleaned before assembly. Lightly tighten the threaded pins on the master shank, making sure that the boring head is properly located. Fully tighten the threaded pins to the necessary torque value. Add your component to the variable head and lightly tighten the threaded taper pin. In this example, a serrated tool body with an insert holder was added. Fully tighten the threaded taper pin to the necessary torque value. Make sure the slide position on the boring head is at zero. Remove the mounting screw in the center of the serrated tool body and place the insert holder on. Lightly tighten the insert holder mounting screw and slide the insert holder back and forth to ensure that it has been properly assembled. Fully tighten the mounting screw to the necessary torque value. Place the boring insert into the insert pocket and assemble and tighten the insert screw to the necessary torque value. Set the diameter using a presetter or the scale on the insert holder smaller than the finished diameter. This rough setting should be approximately 0.5 to 1 mm smaller than the finished diameter. In Imperial, from 20 to 40 thousandths of an inch. In this example, we set the diameter roughly 0.5 mm smaller than the finished diameter using the presetter. In Imperial, 20 thousandths of an inch. Make a shallow test cut to determine the actual diameter. In this example, the actual diameter is 48.545 millimeters with a target diameter of 49.011 millimeters. Place the 3E Tech external readout module on the variable head and turn on the 3E Tech by pressing the on off button. Set the 3E Tech to zero by pressing the on off button a second time and release the clamping screw. Use the dial to set the fine adjustment dimension. If the value on the display passes the target, Turn the dial counterclockwise until the display shows a lower value than the target. Turn the dial clockwise to slowly increase the diameter until the target adjustment is reached. Lightly tighten the clamping screw with a standard driver. Then fully tighten the clamping screw to the necessary torque value with a torque driver. Remove the 3E tech from the tool. The variable head is now ready to complete the finished bore. Thank you for watching this video. Watch more how to videos right here on our YouTube channel or visit AlliedMachine.com for further information.